Assalamu alaikum. Hi, this is Draw My Life, My Art Life. When we were kids, my parents encouraged us to try different things. When we were younger, they would take us to art classes or encourage us to draw and hang our drawings around the house. Trying out different things, we did computer classes, video classes, video making, drawing classes, swim classes. My parents are also interested in the creative field. They were both into photography and collect art, so I was always surrounded by art. I think. They introduced me to local artists. They always encouraged me to follow my passion, to work hard on my art, and always encouraged me to do what I want, with boundaries, of course. In my journal from when I was 13, I saw that I wanted to be a fashion designer. So my sister asked my teacher, what classes should I take to follow that path? And my teacher suggested art. So that's why I took art. But I've always been interested in art. When I was in high school, I took art classes as my major. When it came to senior year of high school, grade 12, we get to choose classes like AP classes, which are like university courses given in high school. And I wanted to do art and psychology AP. What happened was that they overlapped. One of my friends took them at the same time, but it was like a struggle. She had to change her schedule and all that. So I thought I was going to do that. My art teacher told me, I don't think you can do that. And it's, I, I wish I would have done that. I wish I would have pushed for it. But I graduated studying AP art for university. I wanted to go to an art school. They don't offer any of that in Kuwait and I wasn't allowed to study outside. So I chose the closest major, which was graphic design. Like they're two completely different things. I remember thinking to myself, I'll learn what I'll learn and I'll apply it to my art. And that's what I did. I like more of the creative wild side, the art side. A lot of people get excited when they find out I do art. A lot of older women used to tell me time and time again, oh, I used to do art. I was so good. I regret not continuing. And so that repeats in my head. And so anytime, even when I wasn't painting or whatever, or doing any art, and I and there, there were a lot of years, basically, where it was a very dry season, but I would force myself to just hold the pen, just sketch, doodle, anything, just so that I don't lose the habit. So then, even as I grow older, it will still be there. I don't know if I knew this back then, but now I know. It's like you're holding on so tight, any way you can. So I took graphic design, and I graduated. My parents gave me a section for me to turn into a, an art room. I used to paint in my room and I used to ruin all my walls. Paint would fall everywhere. So I got a studio. I also started my first ever huge painting, which was done at Kuwait's biggest mall, the Avenues, with two of PL de Toro walls. And it was the biggest painting I ever did in my life and completed it in four days live in front of people i was so nervous i never did that before and and of course most artists i think are not comfortable with people watching them do art but it was actually so much fun and after that i really got addicted to more painting big than small paintings and, and i did three more wall paintings i started working in a special needs school it was amazing i loved it i really love the kids and i never thought i would ever teach ever but their teaching special needs is different. They were people with autism, Down syndrome, and during Hope School days, I started getting into the pattern of if I think I want to do something, I do it. There's no procrastinating, which I was really good at. And I know if I don't do anything, nothing will happen with the kids, no improvement. So it made me, it forced me to, and this really helped because I got to a point in my life where I, if I say I'm going to do something, I do it. Or if I think, oh, let me do this, I do it. I try to do things more on the spot which for me is not that easy. I finished my two years there. I knew if I didn't leave then, I would never leave. And I wanted to try different things in life. And then I worked in Jabir al-Ahmed Cultural Center for four months. And in the back of my head, all this time, I was thinking, well, one day I'm going to do my art exhibition. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And it kept being something I wanted to do. I, and I know a lot of people have done art exhibitions. And I kept telling myself, okay, Next, it's my turn. And then one day I realized, okay, maybe for them this is an easy thing to do. And that's why they did it. Like people younger than me, people my age. But for me, this is my dream. So just like this is my dream, maybe for them their dream is actually to get into a huge company. So making an exhibition is easy, but to get into a huge company is difficult. It's so scary. So I knew at this point I wanted to do my art exhibition and I was working on it on the side. But then I quit my job after the four months and I thought, that's it. It is literally now or never. And when you have something on your brain for such a long time, it really affects you. It was like a weight on my chest because I've been wanting to do this for years. 
So, you know, like if you need to go to the grocery store and you're like, you put it off, you put it off, you put it off, but it's in your mind. So, so imagine that being in your mind for around 10 years. It's too much. So now it was like, it's now or never. And I talked to my mom about it. She was very supportive. And she's like, Inwar, if you want to leave and do something, you focus on one thing. And so then that's where it began. I was basically at home the whole time. I finishing all my paintings. I have a lot of artwork since I was 14 or 15. They're basically incomplete, all of them. And of course, you have all this time. But getting yourself to do the work, to get up and go to the art room. And when I get there, I'd stay there for three or four hours, just finishing things up. But the moment I finish that one painting that has been laying there for years, it's such a sense of accomplishment. And it inspired me, like it pushed me to go forward. And I put deadlines and I worked like I did it I worked hard on it when you think of people doing things or being passionate about something of course passion is not enough you have to do the work so when you see things on Instagram even with a musician and you see the song and her or him getting excited about the song or you see a person who exercises and runs on a daily basis or them posting running or like me posting my art and you think oh they're so lucky or they're passionate and they're they're working on it and you think it's a daily thing and it's easy but it's not it's not and it's not a daily thing it is a struggle and you have to force yourself sometimes you can't just love it and do it whenever you feel like it it is work you have to force yourself to get up and do it so i would post paintings and me painting but it wasn't like i was doing it 24 7 of course that's the ideal but like i said i'd go for three or four hours and then I'd not go for three or four days. Also, spending time doing it is, is, I think, tiring or exhausting. And you need that break. You need that break from the work. And finally, I'm doing my art exhibition this year. And that's my, my dream. After that, I will do art and also start venturing onto my other dreams and other goals. Although this was my biggest one. So alhamdulillah and thank you for listening. And thank you to my parents for everything.